I'm going to show you guys a groovy little macro, and I will explain uh, useful applications for it, other than if you're not sure who your host needs to be on the show, uh, wait, wait, don't excel me. Um, there's a toggle effect going on here, because we've got... <laughs> you may think it's magic, but there's actually two heads. I'm, ooh, see, there's oh, Johnson. Oh, multiple and heads. Kind of, I know, there's many heads. Yeah, so they just <laughs> we just sort of rotate, you know. Um, but so what's, what's going on behind the scenes here? First of all, I have a picture, uh, you know, multi-layered picture, and I have this little spreadsheet O thing that I totally did without your permission, Casper. Um, and what I did is I put it <laughs> over Jordan's book, so you can't see it's really Jordan's book. And um, I'm giving away all my dirty secrets right now. And I assigned yeah. a macro to it. Okay, and that macro, macro is called Toggle the Face. So I'm going to click Edit to take me straight to my VBA editor and talk about um, toggle macros. And toggle macros, um, when you use this with something like shapes, now you're looking at this thing and you're going, well, when am I going to really create a spreadsheet with two heads on it and toggle the head? It's not about that. You could use this for any shape you create. Um, one example that comes to mind is instructions. You know, sometimes we like to put little instruction notes on our dashboards or whatever. We're creating models for other people to use. You can have a macro button that says toggle instructions, and then your instructions can be shown or not shown, depending on the, the um, state of the macro. Anyway, so all you need to really know about this macro is this, this picture three. Whenever you paste uh, a picture into Excel or create a new shape, Excel automatically gives it a name. And in this case, uh, picture, well, that's picture five, so... In this case, um, picture three, see when I click on your head there, it says picture three, was the name that's assigned by default. So like I said, when you create a new shape, for example, I'm just going to do that real quick, uh, create a new shape, instructions here, oh, right arrow one, that's automatically assigned. So that's the only thing I need to know. Um, the rest is just something you need to kind of remember um, with VBA. So, toggle the face is the macro, and all you need to know about toggle the face is, um, the, like I said, the name of the picture, shape, whatever. Excel always assigns a default name. You can see it up in the name box. In this case, picture three was the name that came in by default when I, <laughs> sounds terrible, when I cut off Casper's head and pasted it onto the, <laughs> the little host body there. So, um, active sheet dot shapes dot range open parentheses, array, open parentheses, name of shape in quotes, uh, dot visible, equals, and this is just a line break. To do a line break in VBA space underscore, that means it doesn't go all the way, you know, it's not like a 500 foot wide line of code. You can add your own line breaks. And then in the next part of the code, it just says not, and then in parentheses, the exact same thing. So you can literally just take this part, copy it, and then paste it into the parentheses there. So that means every time I activate toggle the face, this toggle macro says, is it visible? Then make it not visible. Is it not visible? Then make it visible. So it is what we call a toggle effect. So with that, um, you can see I've assigned that macro to, please hold, I've assigned that macro to this little guy right here. I can see it's there because when I hover over it, it gives me a, that little um, hand icon. Whereas elsewhere on the picture, I just get the four-headed arrow. But here I've got the macro assigned, so therefore uh, not visible, visible, not visible, visible. So that is how we use toggle macros. And like I said, if um, <laughs> perhaps a more practical application, if you inserted a shape, let's say this was a dashboard, and you said instructions for this little part right here. Uh, same macro, the name of my uh, shape is right arrow 2, and then you could have a little button where people can say show or hide the instructions. Um, I think it's a nice little easy macro, yeah. two lines, everybody can do it. I don't even know what else yeah. to say. It's, it's good That's stuff. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Cool.